Part of Kellogg Boulevard in St. Paul crumbled on Sunday morning. It happened about 40 minutes after a water main broke below the ground. And sinkholes can be caused by a number of different things. What causes the ground to open up? Good question. This hole happened after an all-night rainstorm in Chicago. This one in Robbinsdale, a water main break. And that one at the Corvette Museum back in 2014? Well, over time, the limestone underneath had slowly dissolved away. They're all essentially going to be come down to the same cause. And a linguist teaches geology at McAllister College. But in all cases, it's material being removed from underground and then the surface collapsing in. Some sinkholes happen because of something humans did, like the one in St. Paul. The pavement is about six inches, so is the layer of gravel underneath it. Then there's the seven feet of native soil above the water main. And when the main broke, it carried away that soil and created a cavern underground. Eventually, gravity gave way. The water can come from, say, a water main break underneath, but yeah. it also can just come from the rain from above. Yeah, and in the vast majority of natural sinkholes, that's exactly what's happening. Most sinkholes happen naturally over months, decades, even centuries. The really dramatic ones are probably going to take hundreds of thousands of years. They're more common in places like Florida, where much of what's underground is limestone, a rock that dissolves relatively easily. Here in Minnesota, we have limestone, but thousands of years ago, we had giant glaciers, and those were heavy enough to collapse lots of the underground holes that might have formed. So chances of us having a natural... Very small, <laughs> especially in the, the metro area. Heather Brown, very good to know. Yeah. <laughs> WCCO 4 News.